Welcome back to H3 Weapon Deep Dive. We've got another quote unquote carbine today. Boy, this carbine category has got some strange choices in it, isn't it? Well, this is a carbine for sure because it is here in Home SMG Rifle Carbine Luger 1902, chambered in 9x19, chambered in Luger. Uh, what it is is a little Luger with a lengthened barrel and kind of a mini stock on the, or a mini foregrip on it. And then you put the stock on it. Now you kind of got a longer barrel pistol. It actually has a foregrip on this one. It is semi-auto only. So no full auto, but it does take Luger mags, including the big Luger snail drum on there. So you can have some fun with that. It's got pistol style controls. So it's more of a pistol as far as H3 is concerned, but it's kind of neat. Let's check it out. Take a look at the controls. Well, we got typical Luger controls here, which is to say not much. Uh, here's our magazine and the grip. Of course, down on the trackpad, we'll eject the magazine. And up on the trackpad, we'll change our selector switch from safe and semi. Safe is with the word exposed, and that is fire or semi. There's no full auto. It does have a foregrippable area here next to the wiggly bit. Oh, it doesn't want to wiggle. There it goes. There it goes. Here's your foregrip. So now you got a foregrip on there. Let's see what attachments will fit. Let's see, no rails, I'm sure. No, of course not, no rails. But we've got a foregrip. No, no foregrippable area to attach to. Let's see what fits on the barrel. Muzzle brake, yeah. Suppressor, yeah, suppressor. Barrel extension, yes, barrel extension looks good. And the rail adapter will work, so you can put rails on it that way. That is good to know. All important battle spatula, yes. Thank goodness the battle spatula will go. Now you get melee and, of course, a Luger stock. Yeah, now we're a proper carbine. Let's look at our iron sights. What do we got here? Well, we got a big chunky rear notch, big front post. Uh, yeah, not too bad. I wish the back of this thing wasn't in the way as much, or at least that the sights were a little taller, but that will work. Yeah, that'll work pretty good. Looks like it's hitting a little low. No, 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 take that back. It's dead on. All right, recoil test. 32 rounds of 9x19 Parabellum. Let's see what it was. One-handed. Here we go. Well, you got the picture, one-handed. It's pretty in the ceiling. I, I delayed a little bit on that second shot, which is why it's on the target at all. So I guess if you give uh, just a little delay, you should be fine. All right, now let's test it properly, two-handed like a pistol. Hmm, weird little hesitation in there. 8.75, so pretty good, about what we'd expect from a nine millimeter. Yeah, that's pretty close to what I've seen from a lot of 9mm pistols. Let's throw our muzzle brake on there, see how we do. Hmm, wow, fingers getting tired. All right, three tens right off the bat. A bunch of nines after that, so this is looking pretty good. 8.44 average, so numerically didn't seem to help. But, you know, we got a bunch of good tens in there, so I don't know. Let's try the suppressor. All the sights do get up over this little suppressor. That's handy. Well, kind of pulled to the right a bit. 7.59, actually worse. Hmm. What we really need is stability. So let's use the stock and the foregrip properly. This is a carbine after all. Hmm, a little stuttery, 8.78. Not as good as I thought numerically, but look at all the nines and tens. So I think we got a lot more consistent results out of this one. We'll note that the sights are so low on this carbine and the way it's designed, that is about my natural uh, position for holding this. So I gotta move this way up and very close to my eye with this, uh, with my right hand here. So it's actually touching the HMD, which is not comfortable, so. If I adjust it a little bit and put it out in front of me. 
That's a little better, but it's kind of uncomfortable to hold. All right, let's try it with the stock, foregrip, and the muzzle brake. Ooh, that looked pretty. Look at all those tens. Yes, and you add them together. Foregrip, muzzle brake, stock, 9.44. Now that's a good result. That's what we're looking for. All right, finally, the suppressor, foregrip, and the stock. Here we go. Ooh, still pretty jumpy and even nine, so it is improved a little bit, but yeah, this thing is still pretty jumpy. I think it has to do with maybe the way you gotta hold it. I don't know, it feels kinda awkward. Check this out. The barrel, see that? The barrel reciprocates. And if you look, wait, this is a little tricky. Hang on, if you look, you can see the separation between the suppressor and the barrel. That's pretty cool. And H3's got everything. There you have it, the Luger 1902 carbine. Take a Luger and give it a bigger barrel and a place to grab it. And you got this thing. Till next time, I will see ya. Let's fucking... Yeah, there we go.